our next brave person is Susie Brighton. I was three and a half years old in bed sleeping. My mother and newborn sister were in the hospital when suddenly I woke up as I telepathically heard my mother screaming, get me out of here, get me out of here. I was three and a half, what can I do? They were giving her shock treatments because she freaked out before and after my sister's very hard breech birth, which was feet first. She thought she would die, and no one told me about it until I was 17. When they came back home, I wanted to help my mother, but didn't know how. She was different somehow, and nothing I did helped. I felt like I lost her, yet there she was, and she cried and was sad a lot. She was like a little injured bird who couldn't fly, overly sensitive, shut within herself, afraid of everything not the same mother at all. Dad became easily angered at me. He yelled at me and spanked me a lot, sometimes way too hard, like when I couldn't sit down for three days. I was frightened of him, angry at him, and loved him all at the same time. Sometimes I hid. Twice I tried to commit suicide before I was 12 under the pillow and under the covers. Nature became my safe place. None of us were ever the same again because we were all connected by energy cords, so we all experienced the effects. Years later, while receiving a healing session, I saw that it wasn't my fault. I wasn't responsible for my dad's anger and my mom's sadness. It was the doctor. I laughed and cried for 20 minutes and couldn't get out of my chair. At 51, I got attacked in my neighborhood park by a rageful man who was raping women in another park. I screamed and screamed and didn't let him do what he wanted to do. He let go and ran away. I was now terrified, crushed, and broken, feeling fearful even in nature, my safe place. I called the helpline, got some help, then separated from my angry husband lived by myself and started healing by drawing and being in the garden. I realized that I had negative reactive patterns that attracted this angry husbands and other experiences to me and that life was a mirror of what was subconsciously inside. I had to confront my own anger at these events and people to free myself. So I dove deeply into my darkest, deepest feelings. I found lots of them, and some from ancestors and past lives stored within my cells and DNA. I became a stronger healer, studied many more modalities, got lots of healings, and did lots on myself. Christ appeared and blessed me several times. I did whatever I could to master my mind so it would stop spinning the thoughts and emotions into me. Sometimes I distracted it by focusing on something beautiful. I felt stronger and stronger within my inner power as I healed with my father and others. One day, I realized that my mom saw dark spirits at the hospital who influenced the doctor to do those shock treatments. And that's why she freaked out and why my sister didn't want to come out, which she told me years later. The spirits affected and attached to us all. As I became a shaman and a minister, learning more and more about them, I freed myself from them and lost my fear of them. I also found my mom's missing soul part there and returned it to her. That's why I felt like I lost her. When my mother died about 11 years ago, I suddenly felt very deep, unexplained anger. Three years ago, I had a shocking revelation of my history of being a German Jew who was gassed by the Nazis at the age of 12. 
and how that mother's decision affected me in both that life and this life. It explains so many things to me, including why I chose a German father to care for me in this lifetime, as last lifetime Nazis killed me. As I witnessed my Jewish mother's death, I saw her and others dying before I did in the gas chamber, and I got extremely angry at the betrayal by the Nazis and by that mother's decision to do what she was told and by turning down the loving German neighbors who wanted to help us. That anger came with me into this life as karma, as my inner war, if you will, that magnetically attracted suffering. One of the telepathic messages I got years ago was, so what? I taught myself to recognize my body's subconscious feelings of reaction to anyone or anything and to surrender them or to dive deeply into them to find the core of where they came from. I also did hands-on healing and what is called toning on myself to break through that core energy stuck within me. I also play and tone high vibrational music. Part of my journey to healing has been my 40 year study of the spiritual emergence of the soul that is happening worldwide. And through that, I have come to understand past lives and ancestral traumas and how they affect my mind and emotions today. Weeks ago, very deep feelings surfaced while watching the movie, The Zookeeper's Wife, where Germans saved about 300 Jews. It subconsciously stimulated man's inhumanity to man again. I left Harkins, went behind the theater, and dove into my feelings to uncover what was happening. I suddenly heard the words, I'm free, I'm free, as my body's consciousness felt liberated from that Jewish lifetime. By feeling both extreme polarities of the great Nazi evil and the great love of the zookeeper angels at the same time, the ego's anger and judgment energies dissolved and shot out of my body. It was liberated. I was filled with love for the souls on both sides of the war, who were all harmed by that karma. And I was also liberated from the polarity of my ego's inner war. Now I can even more fully express my true nature, my soul essence of light, joy, and love that I also found in this deep spiritual emergence of my soul.